Hey, Switch owners. Switch owners. I'm talking to you. Nintendo has some good news for us. Apparently, they intend. I mean, I'm sure they always intended. But they intend to maintain a steady stream of releases for Switch. One of my primary concerns for Nintendo Switch during year one is how the heck are they going to follow this up in year two and year three? It almost seems impossible. Start it with Zelda, end it with Mario, release a bunch of really good games in between. Most of them exclusive, some of them not. Well, here Nintendo has finally addressed it. So I'm getting this. It comes from 4Gamer, which is a Japanese publication. So I'm going to read this from Nintendo Everything, who had translated it. Um, and I'm just going to read their post in its entirety so you can gain the full context of what it said. Since there aren't any direct quotes given, it's a bunch of paraphrasing. Again, you know, they translated it. So full credit to Nintendo Everything. I'll have a link to their post on this or down in the description below. 4Gamer published a new interview today with Super Mario Odyssey producer Yoshiaki Kozumi. It was mainly about that game, as you would expect, but the piece also contained some talk about the Switch in general. It's worth noting that Koizumi was the overall general producer of the Switch hardware. Towards the end of its interview, 4Gamer brought up how Switch is getting a number of big games at a steady pace in its first year. The site almost feels like Nintendo compressed a five-year console cycle into just one year. In response, Koizumi noted how the beginning is important when establishing a game console. Not only is the amount of software that's important, but also how long it takes in which people become satisfied in playing them. Switch was released in March rather than at the end of the year, where the battle for sales is basically at its peak, with Nintendo wanting to properly line up the idea of how Switch can be played before the holiday season. Koizumi went on to talk about how Nintendo's various games hit at different points. For Zelda Breath of the Wild, Nintendo wanted to feel the surprise of Switch, letting you take a home console quality game on the go. 1-2 Switch was made for explaining the Joy-Con, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is to let people experience the idea of sharing controllers. Then Splatoon 2 is to convey the fun of local multiplayer, and ARMS is a way to show that Nintendo is also creating new IPs. The company also calculated the timing to release Super Mario Odyssey and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 in being prepared for those who want a full-fledged RPG. Koizumi did note how it was really hectic to make these titles fit just right into the schedule. 4 Gamer pointed out how this was the timing, uh, and it becomes very important because each title has its own role, to which Koizumi agreed with. 4 Gamer closes out this section of the discussion by bringing up some concerns that Nintendo won't be able to maintain its strong pace of software since so many mainstay games were brought out this year. However, Koizumi said that things are being constructed in such a way that the steady pace will be maintained. Also, Nintendo still has a number of IPs left. Koizumi added that there should be many third parties that will look into ways of using the console, so there is that to look forward to as well. Let that sink in. Nintendo. I think the big thing to take away from all of this is... I see one path that Nintendo can continue this steady stream of releases. And that is if they're done with the 3DS. We did an episode on last week's podcast talking about the death of the 3DS. It's time. It's time. The way that they can maintain the Switch's momentum, the way that they can maintain the steady streams, is for all of Nintendo's games to come out on a single platform. It's never happened in the history of Nintendo. We're 30 years in, and Nintendo has never had all of their teams working on games for a single platform. That happening is going to equal to a steady stream of releases. It could even equal to another Mario game and another Zelda game releasing on Switch. A 3D Mario game at that, and a 3D Zelda game at that, because all the teams are focused on a single single platform which is going to make games not only come out faster but a wider variety of games as well this first year was fantastic there is no doubt no one doubts how amazing this first year was arguably the best first year for exclusive games for a console launch maybe ever 
But to follow that up with something better. We know Metroid's coming. We know Pokemon's coming. We know Fire Emblem's coming. Heck, we're probably going to find out Animal Crossing is coming as well. Uh, Nintendo has so many IPs to hit on. I wouldn't even mind them continuing to make new IPs while bringing back some of their old ones. Think about all the old IPs. I mean... Isn't the time ready now for another Bot and Kato's to come back? A Wave Race? An F-Zero? Nintendo has many ways to capitalize on this generation. So even if they don't release a Mario Kart 8 9, because they view Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as this generation's Mario Kart, they still have an excuse to release Wave Race then. They still have an excuse to release an F-Zero. We've still got Kirby and Yoshi coming. Nintendo's got a pretty big library of games. And while nothing in their library is arguably as big as, say, Pokemon... Zelda and Mario uh, they have a lot of really really big titles Animal Crossing is actually more popular than a lot of people think and I'm hoping Fire Emblem Warriors actually sells really well because I like the Fire Emblem series and so far I'm enjoying the game but yeah this is just all really really interesting to me and I want to get your guys' thoughts on it in the comments below I'm also going to put a thread up for talking about this over on our forums at forums.nintendoprime.net. So if you guys want to go over there and continue the conversation beyond today, you can even quote your own comments if you want. I don't care. We're going to try to push those forums more and more each and every day for the rest of 2017 as I want to have continual conversations with my community or I should say our community, right? I mean, I, I often say I am Nintendo Prime, but I don't own you right? You don't own me. I'm, I'm the content creator. You guys are the ones enjoying the content. Let's have an open conversation together uh, talking about this, th this company that we love so much in Nintendo. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more content just like this one, and I'll catch you in the next one.